Over the last 12 to 14 months, Alhamdulillah, we have had and we've made very tangible progress in terms of the macroeconomic stability. By the time we closed the last fiscal year, and as you know, our fiscal year is from July 1 to June 30th, all macro indices reflected this progress. On the fiscal side, we were in primary surplus. Our current account deficit was less than a billion dollars. A stable currency, foreign exchange reserves, which had dipped to two weeks of imports, were up to over two months of uh, import cover. The downward trajectory on inflation, and I'll come back to that in a moment, reduction in the policy rate, and all outstanding dues to our foreign investors got paid before we started this fiscal year. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a real pleasure and privilege to say that we have consolidated those gains as we've entered this fiscal year. In the first quarter, which closed end of September, on the back of very strong remittances, indeed, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia plays a very, very important and critical role in terms of that corridor. So we always remain grateful for that. Also, the export flows, um, especially in terms of year-on-year -year very critical deltas and important deltas in terms of IT services. Inflation, which had peaked at 38 percent for the first time in September, all indicators whether it's the headline inflation, whether it's the core inflation, whether it's average inflation, alhamdulillah, came down into single digit, and we were at 6.9 percent. And inshallah, that trajectory will continue um, as we go forward. And on the back of that, we have seen the reduction in the policy rate. There's more to do on that front. But especially the Pakistani business community, which is sitting here, all our friends, hopefully, are seeing jo samarat hain uske in terms of the reduction in Kaibo, because that's what impacts you in terms of your lending rates. And inshallah, we will continue to see those markup rates continue to come down so that we can uh, start seeing lending back into the private sector. And when we talk about the private sector, someone just mentioned to me that, and I, I want to say that in a, in a lighter way, that last time I was here at this conference, and this is the second summit, I'd said if the private sector has to lead the country, then the private sector has to be sitting in front, and the government functionaries have to be sitting at the back. So I'm very um, um, grateful to the organizers of this conference who have exactly done that, where we give due credit and remain respectful to our business communities, both on the Pakistan and the Saudi front, in terms just of the seating plan. Uh, now, coming back to uh, the economy um, at the moment, now what we've seen is on the back of uh, this macroeconomic stability, we have seen uh, credit rating upgrades. Now, there's more to do on that front as we move towards B minus at least. Uh, we have seen institutional flows coming back into the country, both on the debt side and on the equity side. And yesterday, we actually saw an all time record high of Pakistan stock exchange. Um, as a finance minister, I am slightly um, uh, cautious about taking credit for the stock market, uh, but it is a data point, and I thought it was important to mention that, uh, mention that data point. Um, we also had, um, during September, IMF approve, and their board approve, um, an extended program for the country. Um, it has really two implications and two reasons why we wanted to go into this extended program. One was to bring permanence to the macroeconomic stability, uh, and I just mentioned a few things which are happening on that front. And the second thing is to execute the structural reforms which have been elusive in this country. Uh, under the guidance of, the Prime, of Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif, we are now well underway in terms of structural reforms, whether it's on the taxation side, whether it's on the energy side, whether it's the state-owned enterprises. And um, we are very clear in the government that the government has no business in being in business. 
the government has to provide policy framework and policy continuity. It's the private sector which has to lead the, this country, and therefore we welcome all the delegates from Saudi Arabia because this sort of uh, re-emphasizes the importance that we put in terms of B2B businesses as we, as we go forward. And we are very clear, we need to execute these structural reforms. We are very committed to these structural reforms so that we can get from um, <clears throat> stability to a path of sustainable growth, inshallah. Ladies and gentlemen, Excellency, Deputy Prime Minister, uh, we are in a good place on the economic front. And uh, we are open for business. As uh, the ministers who would follow me, um, and Minister of Commerce has already uh, made a very strong, um, uh, uh, you know, put a very strong proposition in terms of why Pakistan is a very important destination for investments, inshallah, going forward. I would like to just conclude uh, by thanking Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the Royal Court, um, in terms of providing the necessary support throughout uh, the turnaround journey over the last uh, 12 to 14 months. And I would be remiss if I don't express my personal gratitude to my dear brother, Minister uh, of Finance, Honorable Al Jidan, uh, with whom I have interacted over the last six months um, very, very frequently. And I do want to, as I said, express my sincere thank, appreciation, and gratitude for his personal guidance, his engagement in terms of where we are. Uh, we owe a lot to him and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Thank you very much.